Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Basilius into Roman Empire campaign in EU4. We are in the process of uh, figuring out what we need to get done to uh, finish up the campaign. I do reckon I have everything. Yep. I literally just need to annex this guy and we can do it and we're going to get cores on all of it. Um, oh, it just as owned. We don't even have to core it. Oh, that's weird. Well, we're, it's all going to be cored. Fairly certain he's cored everything at this point. So for some reason, he doesn't state everything, though, which is really weird. But that's fine. He actually has a pretty good army, does he not? 41. That's all right. 200 just between Poland and Prussia. So uh, that is pretty good. We got some revolutionaries there in Dijonet. Let's go ahead and sort those out for him. But uh, yeah, no, honestly, this is the rest of this is going to be pretty much a speed five. You know, take out a couple of guys here and there, attack who we need to, figure out what we need to, and then get everything done. So, um, culture conversions are going. That's going to be just a time thing. Slowly but surely, it's happening. I could have done it a better way than what I did. I just, you know, just kept clicking randomly and I wasn't I could have min maxed it but I wasn't going to oh my gosh it's pretty low on the admin but I guess we don't really need any more admin so I guess it's not that big of a deal just waiting on culture conversion and this guy here so these years of separatism in the north are going to be done pretty soon right um, yeah, that's fine. You can give me some free prestige. So, yeah, five more years up here, and we'll be able to start culture converting all of this land up there, which is cool. This stuff's already culture converted. Long-term investment is always the better call, plus free diplo points, you know. Oh, religious zeal, huh? Let's go ahead and get our dude... Let's go with our missionary strength is always fun. <clears throat> Half off trade guy, sounds good. We'll keep him in mind for later on, right? And we're just uh, getting everything converted for him. Yeah, some of this is set up in a way that it's not gonna be, we're not gonna be able to do it, but it's fine. Disputed succession in Russia, huh? Russia, Russia, Russia. How funny would that be if he died and we got a succession war with Great Britain? <laughs> he wouldn't accept it. There's no way. There we go. Britain is becoming Greek. English um, culture is soon to be gone. People are pleased. Very nice. Send them what they need. Uh, that's fine. I don't care. Literally couldn't care less about the Cossacks. Need to uh, get these dudes out. So 74 and then... So yeah. 71 and then 74. So it's going to be like a few more years before we can do that, which is annoying. But it is what it is. Cheers, they say. Glass will now be produced. So how come I can change... Oh, right, because I'm looking at the screen. I was like, why can I change the Greek provinces to Greek? Very good. So does that mean these are now Greek? Umbrian, so Roma is almost done. September 71. We'll be able to get that other achievement. Beautiful. And I assume he's got all this cord up. He does. Indeedy. So does that mean Prussia? Yeah, he's topping out still. He's got a lot of manpower. They all do. Probably don't need to be sending a mine, but uh, I certainly can. I don't care. Considering the fact that we're still making almost four hundred a month or four thousand a month. Let's build up some forts, eh? Let's uh build up some better. Yeah, like these forts will keep them from. 
Let's get that one there, that one there. Yeah, that's fine. Some army tradition, right? Build some uh, stock exchanges. I need more money, guys. I don't, I'm not rich enough. There we go. Let's build some more manufactories. My vassals certainly need the money. I need more money. Oh, so good. Such a nice, I need an auto clicker. Roomba's got his auto clicker. I need to get my own. All right, very good. We're basically just waiting on this. Trade company, very cool. <laughs> so, let me see here. Yeah. It would probably be in my best interest to, uh... No. Because this all goes into Ragusa. So I, sh I definitely think I'm doing the optimal. I'm collecting three, and I'm only steering from one. Which I don't even need to steer from. So let's see here. Let's steer from here instead of Alexandria. See how that affects trade. 413. There we go. Because all that money from Constantinople or Alexandria is steering anyways. You know? Nah. Castile. What's going on with Russia, huh? Russia, Russia, Russia. If he dies, do I still get it? Ah, oh, he got an air. Feels as I'm looking. Feels so bad, man. You suck, and I hate you. There we go. He does lose the stab. I love that. What's up with your prestige, brother? Counter revolution. How come I'm not losing it from counter revolution? I'm always I'm curious about that. Is it because he rivals him, or he's he's borders him? Would that be it? Actually, don't know. Genuinely, don't know. It was not quite the plan. Nobody wants to work. Lazy dudes. All right. Let's see here. Revolutionaries, peasants, don't care. Truce with a bunch of people is up. Let's go ahead and attack these guys here. That is fine with me. Let's have you guys run over here and have you guys split up and run over here, 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 and there. Oh, he's allied to Brandenburg, which is really good for me because I can totally just run in here and siege down Brandenburg. Give him all, of, give Prussia all of his lands as well. So this is ideal. Prussia will just stomp Lubeck, and I don't care about him. Don't even need to worry about it. Alright, very good. Don't know where that revolt was. Right here, I see. Go ahead and come on over there and get those guys out of there. Admittedly should have uh, put on a general in that army, but I don't care. So let's go ahead and just give it directly to him so I don't have to do all those extra clicks. Um, nah, it's fine. But Prussia, 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 Prussia. Prussia. Prussia, Prussia. So... The piece will look something like this. I might as well take all that as well. Let's give like this. And then those two. That all goes to Prussia and this all goes to me. As we win the Siege of Lubeck, we'll probably be able to get that piece. Very good. No, he wants a couple more. Ah, that's fine with me. What's our next idea group? We're super far ahead on mill, so I might as well take a mill, mill group, right? Beautiful. Look at this. And as soon as we peace out, we'll be able to actually click the button, which is nice. 
Um, I should probably wait, because I'm not sure how it will work. Yeah, let's culture convert all that land first. There we go. Let's go ahead and, uh, for some reason I can't get this piece. I feel like I have almost 100% war score, do I not? Isle of Man, huh? Hmm. I mean, I can wait. I don't care. You guys aren't benefiting from hanging in this war. There we go. Beautiful borders as well. A nice juicy looking Prussia. I will not click the button quite yet. I'm gonna get everybody here over in the uh, the hog. See if we can suppress some rebels. Wow, that's quite a large stack, huh? Just a casual 150 stack. Uh, let's get you guys over in Frankfurt. Have you guys suppress rebels over here? There we go. Have you guys kill them? Have you guys suppressed rebels for Brandenburg? Or, I mean, Prussia. So this is just gonna take us like five, six more years. Really just depends on the, uh, the points. That's our problem that we're running into. It shows promise, very cool. Morale of armies, diplotech costs. Let's go with mill points and mill tech. Um, so I can take this, take this. Let's go ahead and take our, um, I guess, aristocratic. I mean, I don't need any other idea groups, so we'll just go with what we can, I suppose. We're not going to click that quite yet. We're waiting on it. We want to convert some cultures first. Roma has been converted, so check this out. We are now going to um, go ahead and switch this, and we are going to consecrate this metropolitan, and then next month we get the redecorating achievement. Very good. Starting as an Orthodox nation, consecrate metropolitan in Roma. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and have you guys protect trade in the English Channel. Very good. All right, let's see here. Culture is almost done up here. London is almost done. Very good. All right. And we just need to get all this stuff converted. We're definitely going to finish it in time. So that's exciting. Uh, trade efficiency... Can lose some diplo, I don't mind. We're totally fine with that. Everything's almost done. Let's convert as much as we can for this guy. Four to six months, everything's done. How funny is that? Jeez, oh Pete. And we have no unrest anywhere in our country. I think if I were going to be doing a world conquest, I would you would, I would choose an orthodox country every time. I know my first world conquest was with the uh with some orthomans. And I'm very thankful that I did it with them because it was not that hard as far as like in the end with overextension, very much manageable to to overcome. Let's see here. Let's 
and totally switch over to the trade guy and get him all the way up to level five. Some rebels popping into my lands for some reason. All right, so we can now click the button, lose some stab for free. I love losing stab for free. Go ahead and stab up for free. And then we can get some free points. Wait, we have to wait a month, I guess. Basilius is back in control. There we go. Let's go ahead, get the free points. Free money as well. Free points. And free points. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and immediately spend those free points on culture. Let's go ahead and take the top the top ones so that we're not uh, putzing around. We can get them all done roughly at the same time. Seems like probably the appropriate way to go about this. And a lot of this doesn't have the uh, adjacent bonus as well. See culture adjacent. So some of them will get an extra bonus here in a bit. Great Britain has collapsed. Cromwell, huh? Oliver Cromwell, how great is that? They are a kingdom with Oliver Cromwell. Absolutely not. Sweden, Great Britain, and Norway. I'll marry Norway. Just kidding, apparently I won't. Let's go ahead and attack Alsace. We will uh, probably annex him as much as we need to, to keep pretty borders. Let's go ahead and get you guys over here and get you guys over there. Oh, whoa, they have a lot of men. They have a lot of men. Oh, wow, that's a stack wipe, probably. Jeez, OP. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, hello? They have a lot more men over there than I thought they did. That was kind of crazy how many men just walked in there with from Würzburg. So I suppose I might as well demolish Würzburg, right? Oh, here we go. might be able to just outright annex both of them. If we separate piece him, we might be able to give all of his land over. Let's see here. Go ahead and full annex, or full occupy him, I should say. While we're getting his capital taken down. go there we go so let's just see here Salzburg is gonna get full annexed obviously you guys are gonna get full annexed obviously no we totally can't okay well that's fine let's go ahead and give this to Prussia let's see if we can get some some cannons on that for it there we go so Würzburg is going to give that land to Prussia and then basically all this land to Prussia. We'll just take from him what we can. Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. Yeah, I don't wanna, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, right? Hmm. This is fine. We'll have him. That's fine. And then we'll just full annex this dude here. And we'll give whatever. Well, let's actually just give that to Prussia. And then I'll take the rest for myself. That's a pretty looking border. No promise on culture conversion with that one, though. So Poland is a little upset, but now he's not. Imagine that. Let's go ahead and do some more culture conversion. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm going to click the button. Um, and I'll bring you guys back for the next episode whenever, or the, the, like, the time lapse to show you guys when everything is uh, all sorted out and cleaned up. Looking nice and pretty. Because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Let's get you guys... Oh, wait. I didn't even realize this dude was in here. What are you doing? Get out, Milans. These are my lands. Those are my mountains here, baby. These are my mountains, boy. If you don't... You stop in my... Uh... Let's see here. Get some uh, grasslands provinces. Farmlands, even better. Oh, this isn't my lands, though. Let's come over here to, like... Uh, yeah, it's Vertenberg. Nope, none of this is la my lands. Come over here to Alsace. Let's go to Mines. Mines is farmlands. Ibs. Let's go ahead and core that up. <laughs> Let's have you come down here and have you come down here as well. Get you guys all over here in like Navarra. Cheers. So and let's put down some rebels over here, eh? Alright, very good. I'd rather you didn't have rebels, so let's go ahead and suppress them. Very good. That is such a beauty. When will this be done? Does this give a rough estimate on when they'll be done? Land maintenance is a nice one. <laughs> It'll help sort out our money problems, right? Let's see here. Click a couple more buttons. Oh, wait. Ah, thought I clicked it. There we go. Perfect borders. And uh, Poland will like me better. Sounds really good to me, man. Oh my gosh, those rebels. Those dang rebels. Kill them all. So pretty, man. Our name placement could be a little bit better, but uh, I'll take what I can get, you know? Autonomy change is nice as well. Provinces are done. Let's state it all up. Just a few months and it'll all be done. Conversion, culture conversion happening in France. Beautiful. Cairo's almost done as well. Very good. He's actually converting lands himself as well. Prussia's rich, baby. Look at that. Just getting everything switched over. Keep on converting lands as well. Now, ideally, we'd be able to, uh, you know, convert as much of this as we possibly could. <clears throat> My only concern is, is that when I click the button, that it will not, um, whenever I finish up. So I think I need to wait until these are all done before I can click the button, and then the rest I'll just convert to Roman. I think that's probably more important. So I'm gonna. Mm, so 
So are these guys like, so here, here's the issue you gotta look at. Consider this like, this is kind of like Diplo banking, I guess. Um, culture conversions. Anything that is under 10%, I'm going to go ahead and cancel real quick. Is there an easier way to do this? Right click to cancel. It says to right click to cancel, but then it doesn't do anything. So let's uh, stop that one. Stop that one. Wait. Wait, it's canceling it without, wait, oh my gosh. So it does cancel it whether it says it's doing it or not. Really? I'm so confused. I'm so genuinely confused. So like, is, I right clicked on Den Hog. I right click this, I'm right clicking. Click on it, it shows, it is still happening, okay. Hmm. This is very curious. The last thing I want is to have a bunch of Roman culture stuff pop up. Uh, let's go ahead and have, don't think that one's done 10% yet. All right, cool. So whenever this next like batch of a few is done, like these guys up in here, we're going to click the button. It's exciting, I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. I'm curious how it's gonna go out though. I'm concerned that it's going to um, have them keep going. It will probably keep going to Greek, but uh, I'm hoping it does not. I'm good with letting my Diplo stack up just a little bit. I mean, I don't need 40 years to convert a bunch of other, bunch of the rest of the land, so. It was a good read, it says. Three mil points, sounds good to me. Pirates are raiding my stuff because, you know, pirates. We need more manpower, so that's a good thing, for sure. I was getting concerned about my manpower pool. All right, let's go ahead and take that. I know we, I wasn't supposed to because of Diplo points, but I'm not concerned at this point. I know that the game is going to work and it's going to be fine, so we're good. Um, definitely don't want to be wasting on that, though. Let's go ahead and just dump a bunch of points into dip, or Let's actually dump a bunch of points into our vassals, make sure that they're like completely loyal forever. There we go. There we go. Now they'll never be disloyal. Moldavia might be disloyal. Let's go ahead and make Moldavia nice and loyal. There we go. Timmy looking thick. Timmy thick. Timmy dummy thick. Let's um, see what's going on with these culture conversions. I definitely am concerned about the... the hmm... Let's wait on these guys. Once these guys are done. Come on now. There we go. Okay, we're gonna click the button. We're gonna do it. We're gonna hit the button. And I hope it doesn't affect my uh my stuff. New traditions. Do we want our new traditions? I'd say we probably do, right? Byzantine ideas are good. Uh let's go with our new traditions. We're now Roman. Roman Empire, all that. Let's see, our culture is all Roman. And um, making it all into Greek. Yeah, so that's not that's not ideal. Not ideal. Well, regardless, it uh, is a pretty nice looking map and I'm definitely happy with it. I think this is one of my more impressive campaigns and I'm really happy that it went the way it did. Let's take a look at the timeline see how everything went. Like I said, I had actually restarted, but initially we opened up, beat Ottomans nice and handedly. I think initially I expanded into the Balkans, um, and that 
the Balkans and over here. I think this is the next war here with the Ottomans. Big time. And then I think Bosnia broke free, and then I annexed, full annexed them, or something like that. Alright, vassalized Serbia, took um, Kosovo, and then Bosnia breaks free. Okay, we took this land over here. The, the Knights, and I think I immediately went to war with the Knights, took a bunch of land from them, and Venice, apparently. Albania definitely was going to get eaten up here. Then we went long with Kandar, ate a bunch of Kandar lands, and then we continued our campaigns over here. I think it, somewhere around this time I vassalized Naples. I think I stole them from Aragon. Then I annexed Serbia here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Annex Bosnia. Annex Trebizond. The Knights. Caraman soon after. Yes. Dolkadir and so Syria is my vassal. We used him to eat up a bunch of the Mamluks, and I took the Holy Land. Deus Volt. Then we were working our way over here. And uh, working our way over here, and we're just kind of slowly expanding in multiple directions at the same time. We took Venice, and then Venetia, Cairo, and Egypt. Most of Italy is now under our control. And we're working our way through, and this is about the time that uh, absolutism starts kicking in. Moldavia is our march. So is Georgia, and uh, absolutism is now in full effect here. So now we're going to start seeing lots of conquests over here and down in this area. It's Northern Italy, I think we've almost there over here. That was a coalition war. I think we more or less full annex Milan here in a moment. Yep, almost more Iberian lands, full annexed Aragon in this area. And our first war with France. France was our loyal ally. Big chunk out of Castile and Portugal. France was a loyal ally until he wasn't, and then uh, we decided it was time to reconquest Gaul, right? Kick them out, annex Tunis, nice name placement. Annex Milan, annex all of the south, south of France. Um, and then meanwhile, we're growing Prussia as a vassal. I think this was our first war with Britain, and then we had a huge coalition war where we annexed all of this land, all of that land is in the next war. This was a client state, gave the rest of the land and split it up accordingly. And then we started just cleaning up the borders, giving some land to Prussia and land to ourselves. Then we end up full annexing him. And there we go. And now the Roman Empire has uh, been proclaimed. And I know people are going to have gripes and complaints about the, um, the borders and like little various things like, oh, you know, this province here, this province here. It's all good, guys. This is a game, and I had fun, and I hope you guys had fun, too, because at the end of the day, it's all about fun. It's a game. It's only game. I had a great time. Hope you guys did, too. Show your support. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the campaign, what you're excited about for This Is Persia. If you have any tips for me for my This Is Persia run, let me know. I want to know. I'm curious and I'm excited. It's going to be a fun one. It's always exciting to start a new campaign on the channel. Don't forget to check out the Discord. Link's in the description. And if you want to support me on Patreon, link is also in the description. All that support is hugely appreciated. Check out my Twitch channel. It's also going to be linked. Um, I'm not sure if it's linked below, but uh, you can find it at, at twitch.tv slash shoot. And uh, my Twitter as well. I'm trying to be more active on Twitter. It's tough. But regardless, guys, that is all I got. This is Chewy Shoe, and I will catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.